I'm the director of Listen Gallery. Uh, we present uh, a booth C3 in uh, Akkad Fair with a solo show by Letizia Key, this very talented and young uh, Ivory Coast uh, artist that we represent. We are presenting uh, sculpture, painting and photograph all, uh, in, uh, all together. Uh, the photograph in uh, two dimension. They are the very classical and uh, uh, iconic uh, self-portrait of the of the artist, where uh, they create uh, this uh, hairstyle uh, sculpture. And uh, then uh, the paintings, uh, really strong, uh, but uh, with a very direct uh, uh, meaning. And. Uh, and then the very new sculpture made by uh, marble dust uh, together with uh, kaolin, a very resistant material, but uh, very soft when you see it uh, at them. And uh, this is more or less what we present, and uh, I hope you will visit our booth. We, we decided to showcase in only one uh, uh, wall uh, the photo together with the painting because uh, it seems that the wo these two works are not very linked but uh, in reality uh, is really a complementary work because the photo uh, is sometimes can seen as a comfortable uh, artwork because Leticia is obviously also a beautiful girl and uh, the photos are very exact, but uh, Letizia wants to uh, every time try to explain something through uh, her hairstyle. So the very important things and the main idea behind her work is that uh, she communicates something through the hair. This is uh, really the most important things. Uh, Letizia Chi is very well known worldwide for his pictures uh, that you know bring together the, the body art uh, syn syntax and the, these uh, feminist uh, points of view and this uh, really political uh, uh, structure and political attitude but um, she works also as is very um, you know well known now even in paintings uh, behind me and in sculpture and um, it's very interesting because all these three forms of expression, paintings, pictures and, and uh, sculpture, are really very well integrated. As she used to say, painting complete the photography because allow her to specify more precisely all details about his political uh, discourse. It's probably the most iconic one for the famous symbol of the feminism group and uh, Leticia is a very strong influencer but a very important uh, activist uh, from a lot of years and she is followed by uh, millions of people and this is very important uh, to bring this, uh, uh, this symbol uh, together with her works uh, all around uh, the exhibition that we we present of the artist and sometimes uh, you can find a symbol sometimes as for the artwork uh, Medusa you can find a referment to the history of the art uh, otherwise you can find some sentences as for the works uh, the work uh, be sexy and, and shut up uh, or other time just uh, something uh, that is an image but very strong for example the title of this work is free and is very beautiful the contrast between the light of the wings and the strength of the woman with this uh, very muscular body. Uh, the paintings uh, are the rude part of the soul of Letizia. They are in a very naive style, uh, very ironical, but at the same time with a, a strong meaning behind, always. Uh, for example, uh, they, she speaks about the, uh, the motherhood, also in the not happy way that sometimes uh, you can find in the African culture. Or, for example, uh, she touched sometimes the uh, sex uh, them thematic. For example, uh, we, she speaks in this painting about the, the period of uh, sex, of the female sex or the spontaneous uh, abortion 
or in the other case, uh, she speaks about the C-section. Some thematics that uh, in, uh, in our countries are normal that we speak about it, but uh, in Ivory Coast and sometimes also in other countries in Africa, it's difficult to speak uh, about this. For example, in C-section, uh, if a woman in Ivory Coast uh, do the C-section, is not seen as a normal woman. Uh, in this case, uh, uh, Leticia Key wants to underline this, uh, this, uh, this aspect. I'm just discovering it. Oh, this is beautiful. I'm just, I love all the, the plays of masculinity and femininity. It's beautiful to see what his mind or her mind was thinking of. que je découvre et euh, je trouve que le travail avec euh, les cheveux d'ailleurs est, est très intéressant et euh, je pense que oui c'est un travail euh, qui est assez explicite au sens où euh, je pense que tout le monde peut comprendre euh, le message après euh, bah, je pense que ça parle plus à d'autres euh, que euh, enfin, ça, par, 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 oula, ça parle plus à certains qu'à d'autres donc euh, mais je pense que oui en tout cas c'est assez explicite et je trouve ça assez intéressant très jolie. J'aime beaucoup celle avec le symbole de la femme et le point levé. Il me parle pas mal. J'aime bien aussi le be sexy and shut up parce que je trouve que la place de la femme dans la société, même encore aujourd'hui, elle est compliquée. C'est vrai qu'on est beaucoup renvoyé à ce truc de bah, tais-toi et sois belle. Quoi. Donc, je trouve que c'est assez parlant. Et pour les autres, même si c'est des peintures qui sont très crues, je trouve que bah, c'est des beaux messages. Donc euh, voilà, c'est des, des peintures qui me parlent, euh, qui me parlent pas mal. Euh, directement, euh, je pense que euh, c'est assimilé à euh, la femme enceinte qui doit porter euh, le fardeau, enfin euh, le fardeau, euh, en tout cas dans ce cas-là du, du, de, euh, comment, pardon, bah, des neuf mois de, de porter euh, du bébé et euh, surtout elle est seule, donc il n'y a pas d'homme, etc. Donc euh, elle a ce poids à gérer euh, seule et c'est très explicite quoi, donc euh, voilà, en tout cas c'est des très beaux tableaux et qui sont qui parlent. As, uh, as we say before and many times, you know, paintings are something that in his in her words complete the the works she did. With, uh, with or normally done with the uh, with the pictures because allow her to make to put lots of more details and to develop the concept with more details than picture that it's you know as you know as to be one shot very impressive and the painting as as we can see are very uh, first she what she shows uh, let's say a very easy easy languages painting not very complicated because she want to be understood by everyone so no complicated intellectual stuff and the story the narration the plot is always uh, very well explained you know it's like a, a book not write it but visualize the concept and then for her it's the main instrument for her political uh, let's say manifesto because it's very feminist oriented and it's you know as you can see all the themes all the argument uh, faced are very well connected with the woman condition in general and especially in africa also because as she said most lots of the um, civil, African civilization before not just the European colonization but also af before the uh, Arabs and uh, colonization the Islamization of Africa were matriarchal so the, 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 the figure and the function of the women were, were so important 
and she tried to reconnect with this and to, let's say, make a manifesto to spread all over this kind of a situation to let the people know and to start a dialogue. The history behind this, uh, this painting is uh, very, very uh, long. Uh, Letizia uh, refers to an image that is very particular, a group of rats that has his code linked together. Uh, why she depicted men in, in, instead of rats? Because uh, uh, she, uh, she saw a, a podcast, uh, the name is Alpha Men, is a very masculine podcast, and uh, she, uh, she said that uh, the man in that case is linked not by the code, but uh, by something else, okay. Uh, more or less the meaning uh, is this one, but uh, the history is very, is very, is very deep. Yes. Our resident curator Alessandro, uh, always, uh, Alessandro Manini always uh, helped us, and uh, he was also one of the curator of the um, Ivory Coast Pavilion in the Venice Biennale in 2022. And, uh, Yes, he was one of the curators of the pavilion and we had the opportunity in 2022 to be part of the organization of the pavilion. Really a great opportunity for us and I hope also we will have another chance like this in the, uh, in the future. And uh, in that case uh, we uh, selected uh, together with Alessandro, a group of male Ivory Coast artists, and we need a strong woman. And uh, in that case, we had the opportunity to meet Letizia and Abidjan, and we started to work together. Uh, stronger than Letizia is difficult to find another artist, so uh, we are very happy to worldwide represent Letizia. We are the only one gallery who represent her, so I hope uh, we will do a lot of things also in the future together. We uh, exhibit also this uh, tooth sculpture in these two different color base, like uh, yin and yang, and uh, very particular material uh, is uh, a sort of recyclated marble, but in reality is marble dust together with uh, kaolin, a resin, a mix. Uh, very strong mix, uh, very resistant to the weather. Normally, is used uh, when uh, uh, is renovation is a renovation in the facade of the, of the of the church. And uh, when you see uh, this material, you can see that it is more soft than the marble. But in reality, the weight is more or less the same. Uh, the work is full inside, not empty. So always weight, but 30% less weight than the marble. And uh, yes, we decided to, with a 3D scan and a, ma and ma and a manufacturer in Italy, in Petra Santa, where they take uh, the rest from the famous Carrara, white Carrara marble, uh, that also in the past uh, Michelangelo used. And, uh, yes, we decided to uh, represent one uh, of the most iconic uh, image of Letizia, the one with the symbol of the feminism. And uh, this is the original color of this material. And this is, uh, uh, it was pigmented uh, version in black. And uh, for sculpture it's something very link linked a lot with the traditional African art, no? As we know, we discovered, I mean, uh, Europe discovered African art through uh, the, the works of uh, Picasso, Matisse, etc. And uh, as a sculpture, as a fetish, masks, etc. And she works in order to, as she said, to reconstruct, to rebuild a new form of representation, African black representation, that are, has always been uh, viewed from Eurocentric points of view, from white points of view. So the works is uh, in this way, she, was, she tried to reconstruct the self-representation of the black from their own points of view. Okay? We present these two sculptures for uh, a solo show 
in Casa Masaccio, this uh, very famous museum in Tuscany. And uh, we uh, created also, uh, using a body scan uh, of Letizia, a life-size uh, bronze sculpture uh, that uh, is uh, showed uh, together with uh, these uh, two sculptures in uh, Casa Masaccio, this museum in uh, San Giovanni Valdarno in, in, in Italy. Uh, yes. The sculpture is, this, this particular sculpture is a couple um, together, white and black, and, and it's linked, uh, it's, 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 they came from the title uh, L'Aventura Ambigu. So, uh, it came from, uh, from a famous uh, uh, romance, a famous book from Chick uh, Amadou Khan. Uh, it was a very famous writer, but also like a philosopher, because uh, it took about uh, the double identity of African nowadays, because as uh, Leticia, the people in their 20s or early 30s, of course they grew up in a, in a post-colonial um, countries, but they studied uh, French or English. They grew up uh, with all the, you know, the, the institution created by their their um, colonial uh, administration and so they are at the same time try to, to recover the original roots of their culture, their tradition as the teachers show. So this culture try to show to, to explore this, this kind of uh, you know uh, let's say double identity, you know, this sort of paradox that they put together, link together just the original roots and the modern, the, the modern iconography and the cosmopolitan, let's say, identity, because all these artists, as you know, we travel all, all over the world. So this culture that uh, actually, uh, as, as uh, we know, Leticia started to work so like uh, two, three years ago, to work even with sculpture, because it's very linked with African traditional arts. You know? As we know from the beginning of the century, through Picasso, Matisse, Braque, and uh, Brancus, um, so masks and all traditional uh, artifacts, um, especially the, the, the sculpture behind me. Uh, Leticia chose this special material that is kaolin because she was looking for natural natural material. And she starts also with uh, with the land, with the heart, and with uh, already did something terracotta. Tiarqui. Uh, it's always looking for using even cafe and other kind of dust you know, coming from the nature. But kaolin, as everybody knows, it's a natural product here mixed with the marble powder. And both of them, of course, are natural because they, re they recall her this uh, link with the nature that in, in the modern days, in this, uh, let's say, gentrification time, everybody lives in in an urban situation very far from, or anyway, with distance from the green and from the nature, from the ambient. So losing one important part of this relation with the, the, the landscape and the nature. And so I want to do this because it's, I have lots in common with the marble, but I have lots in common in the same with the ceramic, with the, you know, lucidity, etc. And so it's, it's, a, it's a way to represent, to, in, in this search for, uh, this period is seeking for new identity, to, to link with the original identity and the new one to build something that link her and the viewer with the nature. So yeah, Letizia is actually uh, doing a, a something for a, a docufilm. His secret for the moment, but one is a docufilm in Tunisia, and uh, another is a, a movie in, uh, if I don't go wrong, in Switzerland. And uh, yes, she is also an actress. Last year, she was the main character of the movie Disco Boy by Abruzzese, this uh, very talented young uh, uh, Italian movie director. And the movie won uh, the Argent Bear Prize uh, in Berlin for the movie festival in Berlin. So yes, uh, Letizia is also active in the, in the cinema, yes. Yeah, yeah, it's the second time we uh, joined this uh, fair. It's very interesting and uh, the place is very central in Marais. We also have um, 
a gallery, a little space uh, near the fair, so uh, for us it's important also to uh, new more clients and new collectors in this uh, area because we are based uh, in, uh, in Tuscany, Italy as a primary gallery. Then we opened uh, this space in Paris in 18 Rue de Crusol uh, last year, opened it with uh, a solo show by Leticia Kim. And uh, in March we will open uh, the third gallery in, in Hong Kong. And uh, Aka for the moment uh, is very good for us, uh, a very good addition. Uh, the weather is not helping us a lot, but uh, I think uh, uh, tomorrow or Sunday it will be better, I hope. Uh, re I just returned from uh, 154 uh, um, the London edition uh, last week and we will go in uh, Zona Maco in beginning of February, then end of February in Investec Cape Town and in March uh, in Hong Kong together with uh, the opening of our new, gallery, new space in Hong Kong we will join uh, Art Central Hong Kong and then also other uh, after, the, after the summer, yes. Grazie, merci.